Hello, Paul Hamilton here. Quick activity today to get your kids really thinking creatively um, and some divergent thinking skills at the start of your lesson. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to work quickly here. I'll show you what we've done. Taking a quick photo here of um, one of these two $3 mannequins, these wooden mannequins that I can manipulate um, in regard to bringing this in to explain everything. And what I can do there, I've just taken it with a white background. I can go down now in our edit tools, go to light and really pump up the light to make it as white as we possibly can as a background. And I'll tell you why later on. So that's basically all we've done. I've grabbed a two or $3 mannequin, wooden mannequin from an art store. Um, and I've taken a photo of it with a white background if I possibly can. Now I'm going to jump in to explain everything now. And this is just a really quick five minute activity that you can get your kids to do. They come into class, they take a, a photo of the mannequin. Now you can use Lego, you could use a little figurine character, anything at all. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring that in or get the kids to bring in that photo that we just took. So I've got the mannequin here. Now you can actually put the mannequin in different positions um, to each lesson to really get the kids to think about it. Now I'm going to press the lasso tool and I'm gonna quickly just trace around. Now you can be very methodical about this if you want, but because I'm racing the clock a little bit with my tutorial, I'm gonna do it very, very quickly. And if I wanted to, I could be really careful, but that'll do for now. Uh, and then I'm gonna press done, and there he is. He's not too bad. He's still got a little bit of a, I guess a glow around him, but that's okay. And what, get your kids to do this. Think creatively, think divergently, think about, a scenario, a situation, a, a story or a narrative, if you like, that has this character, let's call him Bob, and what he's going to do. Um, and so send your kids away, think, say to your kids, hey, the most creative idea is the ones, are the ones that we really want to celebrate. So it could be as simple as doing this. Uh, we could go into explain everything, and your students might come up with the idea. Let me go with a red colour here. Uh, go to my shapes circle and it could be a case of okay we've got a circle here let's go to our pen tool uh, let's make it a little bit thicker uh, make it blue and we can put a little ribbon on that then we can actually press the I let's press the I here and just group these two so we're going to group them and now we can actually do it and we could have our little character Bob here with a balloon Okay, a really, really simple idea, not that creative, I guess, but think about 26, 27 kids all coming up with some I different ideas in regard to what Bob could be doing with this situation and what he could be holding with his left arm. Now, for kids that really want to be creative, we could actually story tell this a little bit more, press the record button and have the balloon flying away and press stop, press play. So we can be really, really creative with um, the different ideas that we can actually do. Now, what you'll find with this activity, if I go to a new page, let's bring in, uh, let's copy Bob. Let's see if we can do this. Copy. Okay. Let's go into our second page and paste him. There he is again. And students will naturally really be creative with this tool. So what we could do here is we could do another scenario where we bring in a picture that maybe the students have grabbed, uh, we could bring in the world. Press done, bring that over. Got the world there. Um, we might do a little bit of a thick brush. Let's just do it with blue here and just, or red, just go over the top there and we could actually have um, kind of doing a picture around it a little bit and actually have Bob getting cut off a little bit there. I won't do the whole thing, but it could be a case of Bob uh, reflecting, I guess, on uh, global change and the rising waters and Bob's holding the world up over the ocean. Um, there could be some uh, metaphorical kind of thing there. We could go a little bit further. Let's bring in Bob again. Whoops, let's go back. Uh, let's paste him in again and let's go with something totally different. Let's bring in another image. Uh, let's go try and be creative this time. Okay, clock. That's good. Got no hands. We could actually make a hand and explain everything. It's a very thick hand, I know. Uh, 
then what we could do is move that up, shrink it a little bit. And what we could actually do there, if we know explain everything pretty well, we could click on that hand, set a little rotation. Whoop, wrong way. Rotation, that'll do. Move it down a little bit, try and get the anchor point. And it's a little bit of a hands of time. I could do that probably a little bit better. Hey, uh, set rotation. Let's get that in the middle. That's a bit better. Um, and so you've got the hands of time. Uh, let's shrink that. Uh, let's group it. So we'll group that and that together. Group and bring that over. And now our character Bob is holding the hands of time. So we've gone from something that's as simple as um, a balloon going off to something that's a little bit deeper. And imagine the start of each lesson, changing Bob the mannequin, allowing kids to come up with different things that he's holding. And really, we need to foster creativity and divergent thinking in our classrooms. And this is just a really great way um, that we can do that. Quick warm-up activity, get the creative juices flowing with our students. Paul Hamilton here, signing off.